In a petition to the Parliament's Human Rights Committee two weeks ago, three journalist associations accused security agencies of harassment, baiting, confiscation of equipment, arrest, detention, among others. This prompted the committee to summon the named security agencies and today these agencies, including police and UPDF, appeared for interrogation. All these allegations are period specific. They relate to the period of the campaigns. The journalist bodies, including Uganda Journalists Association, Uganda Parliamentary Press Association, and Uganda Human Rights Network for Journalists, led by the president of UPPA, Moses Molondo, demanded to know why police and soldiers mistreat journalists and confiscate their equipment, and why no action is taken against implicated officers. <laughs> Baba Baba Bonerize, Iran Amanyaga, we were go get in Seba Maniba exposing. So, when you observe most of the, the coverages of these protests, the journalists are not behind the police. Where you would have seen the protective cover that we have, they face us, you know. They, they, are, they are within the, the protesters, the rioters. What Mr. Enanga is talking about is to force the media fraternity out of the field so that we, people are brutalized without covering. The, the media people, Mr. Or, Chairman, first of all, is saying the media fraternity they are, they are putting on their jackets, or, 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 they have elements, just they can easily visibly be seen. Legislators of the committee backed journalists in seeking for answers from the leaders of police and army institutions. But when you Police, professional police would have expected you to be neutral. For those errant officers causing disgrace to us should be punished and exposed. In response, the named agencies apologized to the journalists and promised a more favorable working relationship. Tukoze okweyama. Nti banna mawulire tuse kitibwa muri mu gwawe nabo kubasamu ekitibwa. So tweyamye nti tujja kola garanga namwe ukole mirimo jamu burungi. Shamim Naiga and Gloria Gwitabinji, UBC News.